experiences on our global events team. So Jill, we're here in New York live at the summit. The 2019 Amazing. New York Summit. And we have our first repeat from season one yes. guest. So yes. um, Mark, why don't you introduce yourself? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Mark Nunnikoven. I am an AWS community hero and apparently now annually recurring character on the show. That's right. right. I'm super happy to be here. <laughs> so glad that you're here. So just want to chat about a few things with you yeah, uh, sure. in this episode. But first of all, I think one of the things that we talked about last year, we were, we were introducing these community hero guides where the community heroes got to look at the session catalog and then put together some um, tailored guides of how to experience reInvent content. How did that go for you guys last year? Uh, it was fantastic for the heroes. Um, and the feedback we got from attendees um, you know, was just a nonstop praise. Um, simply because the goal of those guys was to really help people find their way. You know, the challenge we have at reInvent, and it's an amazing challenge to have, is that there's just so much good content. Yes. And so you sit at a wall in the session catalog and go, okay, how do I get started? And that was really the, the answer was the guides. So last year at reInvent, there was 10 guides written by 10 different heroes and 10 different perspectives. So uh, Drew Furman did a newbie's guide. So, hey, you're new to all this, here you go. Um, ben Kehoe from iRobot did a great guide around serverless. Um, Ling Langit did one on big data. Yep. Uh, I wrote one on security. So everything, you know, sort of like, hey, what's your theme? What's the, what's the flavor yeah. you're looking for? Yeah. Um, and it was to help you go through. So we built out a week for you, made some recommendations of you should check out this session. Even if it doesn't seem like it fits, here's how it fits. Um, and so that worked out really, really well. We actually heard a lot of really positive yes. customers, customer feedback last year from it as well. So I'm excited to bring it back and maybe even do more. Yeah, the guides are sort of um, in the spirit of why we even do how to reinvent in the first place. So, you know, Jill yep. and I are super passionate about helping our customers get the most out of reinvent by giving them pragmatic advice yep. from like real people. And I love that the community hero guides also reflected that, yep. right? It was, yeah. th these are your interests. Yep. And we have gone through and found these things that might be the same interest as someone else. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's really great for us to have for our customers. We love having those resources. Yes. Talk a little bit about what your on-site experience was last year at reInvent 2018. So I've been to every reInvent since the beginning. Um, and every year I'm always amazed at how somehow the show manages to retain that unique feeling. Mm -hmm. It really feels, even though, you know, it's several, like, what, 50,000, 40,000, like, an insane amount of people, mm -hmm. it still feels like everyone's just hanging out, sharing tips, yes. learning new stuff, getting yeah. ready to geek out. Now, not as many people sitting in the hallway coding as it was at the first one, because yeah. logistically, it just doesn't work. <laughs> Um, but the same feel is still there, and I think that's amazing. That's you know that's uh, our tribute to your teams to pull that off, but also to the attendees to keep yeah. that spirit. So last year was crazy. I couldn't tell you what happened on any given day because it really just blended into just it does. things happened. Yes, and yes. you know the keynotes were fantastic. Uh, Monday Night Live, I think it was Monday Night Live last year. It was, it was yep. Tuesday night the year before. Yep. Yep. Monday, Monday Night, night Live. Live continuing to be one of my favorite things that happened. Um, the kickoff, uh, Midnight Madness. Yep. Thankfully, for someone of my age, it moved earlier than midnight, <laughs> so I could participate and get active. Nice. Um, and it was it was fantastic. And again, you know, it was I didn't get to as many sessions as I want, which is somewhat ironic, having written a guide. Um, but because I was too, uh, you know, just time filled with talking to people. So many great stories, talking to people, learning about what they're interested in, what they're working on. And at no point, you know, could you catch your breath in a good way. Because it was just, you turn around, you're like, that's amazing, there's something cool here. And you turn around, what? Okay, I'm going to jump into the quad for a bit at the Aria and check that cool uh, area out. And, oh, there's a run? Okay, let's go run and start our day in a good way. So, overwhelming, but in a really good way is how I would sum up reInvent last year. Yeah, good. Well, and I think one of the things we all talked about in the episode we filmed with you last year was... Some of the um, improvements that we right. wanted to make, transportation yeah. being kind of the major one, and then like the content flow. Yeah. So how did you, how did that go from your perspective as, a, as an attendee? Yeah, two big things really stood out for me. Okay. Um, it was way easier to get from property to property. Good. Yes. And again, the warnings in the catalog are good. You should absolutely heed them. Uh, but it was far simpler. It was not like, okay, I'm going to make it on time. It was you had confidence you could get from place to place. That's great. Still need to account for it, yeah. but it was far easier. 
Um, that was absolutely critical. Last year, you know, genius move by the team to set up repeats at different venues. So I think those two things in combination yeah. made the multi-property uh, event really work. It really felt like it was, yeah, it was multiple properties, but it wasn't like, oh, I gotta go over there. Good. It was yes. just, yeah, okay, I can flow between them. And you know what, that session I want is across town today, but tomorrow it's right where I'm gonna be. And it's super easy to find that, super ah. easy to work made it far smoother. So one of the questions that we asked you last season, but one of the questions we like to ask all of our guests are your tips and tricks for getting through the week. So what would you recommend that people take into account? So last year I said, you know, get a new pair of sneakers and forget fashion, go function um, and pack snacks. That still applies. Always pack snacks, yep. always have good footwear. Yep. I would say this year for sure, make sure to schedule downtime. I yeah. would suggest two things. A, have a couple early nights. It's really hard, but force yourself because you need that energy because there's so much going on. But also make sure to block out half an hour, maybe 45 minutes in the middle of your day just to sit down. Now, probably that's going to get just stomped on with, uh, you know, wanting to go somewhere else or wanting to talk to somebody. But try to force yourself to take a minute, not just for the physical rest, but I find more and more for the mental. There is so much going on. Breakout sessions go even later into the day. There is so many things that you're learning. You need to take just a second, settle yourself and go, okay, I'm gonna move that from hot storage to cold <laughs> so that I actually remember what's going on. Nice. You know, my trick last year was actually during that kind of downtime I forced myself to take, I took some notes. And I just yeah. went like, okay, this is what I did in the last couple hours because you know what, an hour from then, I'm not gonna remember <laughs> any true. of it other it's than the, hey, this was really cool from this. So take, take, schedule some time, take some time to yourself, off to the side, kind of recount and experience what you had in the morning, and then get revved up to go at it again for the rest of the day. What about you? What's your tip this time? Well, I'm going to go fun this time. Okay. So there's a lot of fun activities that we plan, that our partners plan throughout the week. So um, one of the things that I read all of the feedback that you know from all of the customer research, and one of the things was people looking for activities for introverts. So you know they still want to get out, they still want to be t partaking in things, but maybe they're conversationed out. Uh, so we're introducing movie night this year, uh, where we've got some great classic 80s movies. So Jill's giving me one of her content theaters in the evening where yep. normally we have the overflow sessions, yep. and we're going to play six classic 80s films. And just like in the content theaters during the day, you can see all of the different screens. Yep. And if you want to pop over to the other movie, all you have to do is change the channel on your headphones. Yeah. So you can kind of get the best of both worlds. Now, I can't tell you exactly what the titles are, but there is a good mix of classic 80s films. Yeah. This is genius. So, so is this the new lead up to reInvent on social, where we normally try to guess the musical act? <laughs> can we start that on Twitter, trying to guess what movies you're yes, going to show I for love us? Yeah, that. that's, that's awesome. Yeah. Fun. Uh, and so, yeah, that's my tip. Just get out and do take part in all of the different yeah. activities that we have. So, my trick or tip this year or this episode is really more serious, but kind of based off your comments earlier. People love to network. They get caught in conversations. You know, that's the, the one time, one week of the year where everybody who's interested in cloud computing and all the cool things about it are together. So this year we're creating uh, what we're calling network lounge, networking lounges. And they're tied to like topics like databases or security, but also industries as well. And there will be tons of activities ha happening in those lounges all week long that will help people network around the things that, are in that they're interested in. So um, keep a lookout, you know, be on the lookout for the networking lounges. Um, there's going to be a ton of activities. We're going to have partners in there. We're going to have sponsors in there. We're going to have community heroes in there. Um, and then we'll have AWS experts in there as well. So it'll be a cool opportunity to meet people that are interested and really build your reInvent community. Yeah. And the community heroes are going to be at reInvent as well. We talked about this a little last year again. Yeah. But like, you want people to come talk to you, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So the community heroes are out, will be out in force. Um, there's around 90 of us, I think, globally at this point, and almost all of us will be at reInvent for the week. Um, we are there to engage in the community. That's the whole community part of that hero thing. We love talking to people. We love hearing what they're tackling, trying to help where we can. Um, you know, sometimes with event logistics, sometimes with the technical side. Uh, last year, we all had uh, crazy big medals on. 
um, that indicated that we were heroes just for fun and a yeah. way to call us out. Yeah. Um, because it is like the networking lounge, it's great. anything you do to make an icebreaker, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So we will be in force uh, there, whether we'll have medals or something new and special on, that remains to be, uh, to be seen. Um, but we're also active on social. So the uh, best way to find us is to go to the AWS Cloud Twitter handle. There's actually a list that AWS manages of awesome. all the heroes. Awesome. Easiest way to get us all. We'll be super active throughout the week, looking to help, reach out, and it's the safe like walk up and talk to a stranger kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah. If the hero's there, I can guarantee you we are looking to chat and will not be taken out aback if someone's like, hey, I saw you online or you mentioned this or something like that. It's you know it's it's all about community at reInvent and anything that any of us can do to support that uh, we're all in for. Same okay. with us. We yeah. will, yes. we will definitely um, be around. The show <laughs> and we're really appreciative yes. of the advice. Uh, so you know that's how we got ourselves season two. Uh, <laughs> but we're really excited about reInvent 2019. Yeah. There's a lot of great stuff coming. So we we can't wait to see you there, Mark. I can't wait. It's uh, I've been to everyone since the start, and every year I'm amazed at how it continues to grow, and there's always new stuff to learn. The challenge is now is actually learning all of that and balancing everything, but I think the team does a great job of letting people know, you know, through the app, through the people on site, of what your options are, and there's something for everybody, which I think is, is absolutely genius. Mark, thanks so much for joining us on this episode. Thank you. And stay tuned for the next How to Reinvent.